And we're back. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah. We're making sure our cat creature is, uh, yeah, hanging out, having a nice time. Little lady's hanging out over there, running around behind dressers and on top of chest of drawers and things. Yeah, I have a chest of drawers. Basically, yeah, the chest was like cassette tapes and things, blank cassette tapes in there that I used to use for, yeah, that I got, you know, I could use for recording and repairing my old cassette tapes. Let's continue. Yeah, I use cassette tapes. Yes, I do. Uh, is there any way to get over there? How do you get over there? Um, oh, yeah, there should be a way to get over there. What, what the heck? Touch that. Touch the land bridge. Go. Let's go. Beam. Transport. Whoa, what? What? Wait a minute. I don't understand how this works. I don't understand how this works. No! How do we go back? How do we just go back? Oh. Get out of here. Okay. We basically have to transport back. Yeah. As soon as there's a wind howling. An incredibly annoying wind is howling. It's not cool. So we gotta go find other places around to transport to to get to where we need to go. So let's go. Let's try this one. Mm. To the skyway. Wait, hello? It is almost time. Almost time for our little cat lady who's actually gotten bigger mm, since she first came here. Mm, yeah. Mm. So to hang out. Go and hang out inside her cage, drink some food and water. Inside her cat carrier. What? I don't mean to do that. We're not releasing anyone. No. Get out of here. We're not releasing anyone unless they say so. So uh, go in. Yeah. Ah! Oh! She knocked out her internet connection. Thankfully, it's just from uh, the Ethernet cable got knocked out of the uh, back of the Optiplex, but you know, back of my computer. But still, it's a little weird. This is a kind of cool place, except for, of course, it's uh, based on um, weird stuff. They have our obvious, of uh, you know. Uh, fetish girl, yeah, oh yes, uh, fetish girl here, um, you know, incredibly, uh, yes, the one in the fur bikini be, uh, you know, having herself a great time, you know, showing off, you know, all her stuff, showing off what she wants to show off there, Kajar, mm. Kajar, Kajar, this is the magical city of Kajar, we do these permits for the queen, it's for the queen. Uh, you know, that third one, they go, hey, uh, you know, you in the fur bikini, um, I'd like to do an experiment. <laughs> Your power differs from ours. And you, I strained a strain, an aura, a strange aura of kindness. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all huge jerks. <laughs> so, man. I mean, you have fun jokes to say this, yeah. We're all huge jerks, so yeah, I know that. Those like a magic have always lived beneath the clouds on the, as the earthbound ones. After all, they lack what we have. Yeah, they play um, games in a modern uh, setting. Yeah, in a modern setting where they where animal animals people animals uh, get knocked out or become tame. It's pretty awesome. Right, let's continue. My, you've got an unusual aura, so you must possess the skill too. It must be very primitive compared to ours. Your view for things. Mm. Oh, I was, I was stuck for a second. Oh, it is time. So excuse me for a second. Well, I um. Wrangle me a, uh, hey girl. Hey girl. Mm. How you doing, huh? How you doing, huh? A cat creature. A, uh, good sized kitten. Yep. Very nice and cute with her. Here you go, get a drink of water. There you go. Get some food. Water. <laughs> Maybe if you need, use, use the restroom if you're so inclined. Use a litter box, but, uh, so likes to get into everything, and she's also not that big. So basically, it's like we want to get her to the point where you know she's too big to fit. There's like many places where can basically uh, fit in, and if she can't get out, that sucks. That's horrible too. So we basically, yeah, put her at night time. Well, and every half hour for, for me at least, I'll put her back in her cat carrier and let her hang out there. We have you know, all kinds of cool stuff. Put a training pad in there. Yeah, food and water. Make sure to clean that. You know, change that. You know, keep that going. So it's pretty cool stuff. But let's continue. Now she's in there. She's upset because she she can't run around and jump on my legs. But still. <laughs> She's fine. How do you come by our skills? We come by our skills? Why do others lack them? Who cares? Mm, yeah, mm. Sorry, kid, but uh, I'll let you out at 7 at 8.20. Mm. 
Queen Zeal has two heirs. Sachala. Wow. Sha. 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 La. And Janice. Mm. Sha is an incredible child who has extraordinary magical powers. Because the gift is to breeze through life. Uh, well, Janice. Like, oh, um. Janice is also cool. <laughs> it's only for another than a sister. That stupid cat. What tempest? What tempest races in his head? This uh, may have a little bit of uh, trouble, but that's okay. He's, he's still Janice. I've seen a lot of Janice lately. He appears upset in places around. Yeah, he knows that he uh, can use sense the force. There's a tremor in the force or something going on. It's pretty crazy, though. That's the sun. Keep, that's the sun keep you see on the southern continent. A sunstone, once the source of this world power, was kept there. But when we began to use our new energy source, it was sealed up, just like the North Palace. They claim it don't need the energy of this tired old planet. Over there. Yeah, it's all right, kid. It's just the way it is right now. We gotta just hang out. It's break time for you. It's break time for me. So let's hang out. Go in here. Queen Zelda, two airs. Okay. Shall I just hang out? Breathe through life. Uh, just might have a little bit more trouble. A little bit more. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's not, let's not. Sure, uh, he's not gonna be through life. <laughs> let's go. The ocean palace, like deep beneath the waves, is a symbol of the queen's power. The palace is a source of light. Of light which sustains all things. Oh, it's a girl. Uh, Squeezie of the Great! Mm. Squeezie of the Great! The other front ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the palace. So they do have a purpose after all. Mm, yeah, man, thanks, thanks a lot, guys. Mm. The construction of the ocean palace is behind schedule. Oh! My, my, my special, I call it elephant tusk, because it's basically a hanger wire that basically angles the microphone into my mouth, <laughs> almost into my mouth, it's crazy stuff. I'll show you a video of it someday, but right now it's going to work, let's see. The rest of the Queen's Ocean Palace is behind schedule. Eternal Palace beneath the waves, it'll be a sight, it'll be a sight to see when it's done. Okay, get out the way, mm, right here. Indeed, that great aeroplane, Blackbird, which bothers you a bit. When it soars in the sky, it looks alive. Balthazar. Balthazar is truly a genius. All right, let's go. Mm. These guys have mass. Mm. So it's, you know, basically that you'll get stuck in there. Hmm. What we got? I heard Sasha's powers far exceed those of her mother. Then there's her stepbrother, Janice. He is a royal blood, but doesn't seem to have a speck of magic. There's a few things over here. What is that thing? Mm -hmm. Working on a tab that will boost matter skill. Well, my precious products have been disappearing lately. Maybe the naughty knew that hit them. They love pranks. What can I do? Mm. Not saying anything. Mm. I heard a strange prophet has come to this palace. I don't know the details, but I hear he has uncanny powers. He's an X-Man. Mm, yeah. Mm. Zeal's advances stem from a new advances stem from a new energy source. His powers are passes that of the elements. Oh boy, magical steroids, man. The gurus of life, time, and reason have leaving zeal. Their skill and knowledge is supreme. Skill and knowledge is supreme! Who are you? Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dense. A guru once told me that sunstone can soar, soar almost an infinite amount of our, our sun. But if the energy were used up, it would lose its glow and change into a moonstone. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you know the moon can be recharged if you have to leave it in the sun? I think it's eons. So it's unlikely for us to see that gorgeous glow again. Aw. Mm. Sorry to hear that. No, so, you know, let's just, yeah, they're working on some magical stuff. That's cool. For an uh, RPG. Yeah. For a nice RP uh, mythical RPG like this. Yeah, I, I saw a review of the movie uh, Dark... Yeah, you know, like was I think it was Dark Dungeon or something. Whatever it was, it was supposed to be a Christian movie about uh, hating that hating on the occult. And unfortunately, they brought RPGs into it. Mm -hmm. Not 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 game, not uh, video game RPGs, but role playing games. Uh, there were board games, you know, saying they, you know, that it was they were all bad and whatnot. And I'm like, okay, look, sometimes that's yeah. You know, there are ones that are trying to be more like, you know, do the actual, try and do some crazy stuff, you know. But there are ones that that are basically just games, man. You know, like take Monopoly. Monopoly is actually a role playing game, you know. So I'm like, yeah, and the Game of Life, a bunch of other role uh, games are, are are RPGs. You assume different identities and get money and do things in the game. But it's just a game, okay. That's all. So it doesn't, it's not all bad, you know. And then it's like LARPing, hating on LARPing. What the heck was that? Mm -hmm. You know, it was weird. It was weird. I didn't like it. The other did John Tron. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. Mm -hmm. I was okay with that. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and Demon Art. Especially my Superman, uh, my Shadow and Tales of Toy Superman Doomsday stuff is going to come back very soon. Uh, see you guys next time.